A short growing season and cool rocky soils that stay wet for a long time in the spring make grain farming somewhat challenging in a region that was traditionally used for dairy production. However, a farm in northeastern Pennsylvania shows how a successful organic grain operation can flourish. Dave Johnson has been managing over 350 acres of diversified organic farmland in Lycoming County, Pennsylvania for almost 20 years. It had originally began as an organic dairy farm, but now Dave and his family primarily focus on growing corn, soybeans, and wheat. Local organic specialty markets also provide him with opportunities to grow buckwheat, sunflowers, and hard red wheat for baking. Dave includes a two-year phase of clover hay with these row crops and aims for a full four to five year crop rotation. The primary sequence that we use and the rotation that we use is about a four or five year rotation. It would be corn followed by soybeans or sunflower, um, followed by a summer crop of buckwheat, possibly oats, and wheat in the fall. After sunflower, if we can get a crop of wheat planted, we will. Um, if we can't, we'll come back in the spring and plant a cover crop early like oats and maybe then go into buckwheat. Buckwheat comes off early enough so we can get wheat in afterwards. And when we do wheat, we'll seed in the fall, but we'll frost seed that with clover in the spring. And we'll leave that crop in clover for a year or two and then plow that down for our fertility for our corn. As an organic farmer, Dave manages his crops using some form of tillage each year. His approaches to tillage vary, depending on the cropping sequence, but his main reasons for tilling include warming and drying soil, managing cover crop residues, controlling weeds, preparing seed beds for planting, and aerating heavy clay soils. For these, he uses an assortment of equipment, including a moldboard plow to incorporate residue, a field cultivator to manage weeds, and a chisel plow or subsoiler to occasionally work heavy soils. Additionally, Dave began using a high-speed disc seven years ago to minimize the amount of tillage on the farm. The high-speed disc allows farmers to control the depth of tillage and to only use one or two passes to create a good seed bed before planting. We chose to go to the high-speed disc um, to help reduce our amount of tillage passes that we're doing and to provide a very finished seed bed um, for when we are seeding down. Uh, it also allows us to cover a lot of ground with a fairly small piece of equipment because of the speed we can operate. It's kind of unique because the, the way the discs are made, there's, there's two gangs that are fairly close together and they do more soil lifting than a typical disc will do. They're all independently mounted, so when you hit rocks, which we have, they will give and um, not bounce over the soil like a regular disc would make. And there's a packer roller behind the disc. So after you're working the soil up with the disc, the packer roller reconsolidates everything so it leaves a very nice seed bed. Dave has found that a high-speed disc is an essential piece of equipment for his farm. Well, we originally thought about using the high-speed disc because we thought maybe this is the magic bullet and the one tool fits all jobs. And it's close to that. It's our most used piece of equipment. Um, we have found that we've been able to use it to consolidate crop residue into the soil, um, prepare seed beds, help control weeds. Um, we find we use it in just about every operation in some time or another to create a good seed bed before seeding. For Dave, there are several advantages to using the high-speed disc. Mainly, he doesn't have to use a moldboard plow as often, and it has helped him reduce tillage depth and frequency. As an unforeseen benefit, the high-speed disc also helps him manage rocks on his farm. I think probably one benefit that I've seen the most is it does a terrific job of leveling. And it will also pack rocks if the soil is loose enough, so if you cannot pick the rocks on the surface, it'll at least push some down below the surface. Dave has found the high-speed disc to be most useful for incorporating wheat, corn, and sunflower residue, but it can create an uneven seed bed when ground is too wet. The high-speed disc can also spread and multiply any problematic grassy weeds, especially quackgrass that spread by rhizome when it's chopped up. 
Dave has this advice for farmers who are interested in using a high-speed disc on their farms. The recommendations I would have for using one is make sure you get enough horsepower and enough tractor weight to handle it. Um, they are kind of very different than a regular disc and they take a lot of horsepower to run at the speed that they should be used at. And if you use a mounted one strictly on a three-point, it takes a lot of tractor weight to be able to handle that. We use a four meter high speed disc, um, which is 13 feet, and we use a approximately 175 to 200 horsepower tractor that weighs 22,000 pounds. And I would not want any less than that, and I would prefer probably another 50 to 100 horsepower. Whether you're an organic farmer looking to reduce tillage or a non-organic farmer thinking about transitioning to organic, Dave says it's important to focus on environmental conditions and to use the right tools for the job. Well, probably another piece of advice for organic grain farmers is you really need to be very flexible in working with the weather and getting timely cultivation and having the right tools. We have found that um, certain types of cultivators work better with certain soil conditions and moisture conditions. And a no-till cultivator, which actually is a very shallow running but wide sweep piece of equipment, seems to help especially well in minimizing soil disturbance. And the timing of cultivation is pretty critical because you can do a lot of recreational farming by just moving weeds from one place to another if it rains right after you cultivate. So the timing of which when you get in to cultivate is very, very important.